Hey guys, um, <clears throat> sorry I'm getting over a cold, but, um, I wanted to show you my altar. I don't know if it's just me, but I will, um, <clears throat> decorate my altar for not just Sabbaths, but also, like, regular holidays, such as Valentine's Day, which, in my opinion, with all the, I guess, media attention towards the holiday, it kind of puts me in the spirit of love and everything, so <clears throat> I, um, set up my altar for, uh, Valentine's Day and love, where I'm going to do my spell, which will, um, my love spell, which, or if you would call it a spell, um, prayer, ritual, whatever, um, I know some people don't really call them, like, for me, whenever I say, like, witchcraft, magic, or spells, um, you know, it'll make people think of, like, Harry Potter type things, charmed, whatnot, so, if there's any non-pagans, Wiccans, Witchins, w Witchins, Witches, Druids, anything, um, watching this, a spell is not really like a spell you would see in Harry Potter. A, a spell that a Wiccan would do is kind of like a Christian prayer, I guess, or, um, if you're interested in it, I suggest you really look into it. If you're thinking that you're gonna make sparks come out of your fingertips it's not really what a spell is whenever I talk about spells it's more about like kind of like a prayer whatever so like a love spell would be kind of like a prayer to make me more open to love or um show my boyfriend um like to a prayer to help me show my boyfriend that I love him and such so um and I just do it right here my little altar is in my phone. See, I'm normal. I'm a normal person. I'm not no crazy Harry Potter person, but, um, well, actually, I do love Harry Potter a lot, but I'm not, like, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, but what I was saying before is this is my, um, pink lovey-dovey, um, altar for Valentine's Day that I have. Uh, these are the roses that my boyfriend got me because he's so freaking awesome but I put those on my altar because well I needed a place for them and I thought this was a good place and I got my pink altar cloth and my pink candle which like looks really good with my flowers I think like freaking amazing um and then I got my laughing buddha and two of my candles, which is, I think, vanilla and, I don't really remember what that one is. Um, and then I was trying to think of a wand, which I know, again, people who are not Wiccan are going to be like, Wand? Why do you need a wand? Are you going to be shooting sparks and magical things and glitter coming out of that? Well, no, it just helps center your energy to know where you're going to be, um, kind of like when you're, actually I can't really compare this to Christian things, because I was raised Christian, but I can't really compare this to anything a Christian would do, but you know how, um, in the, in a church, there'd be certain rituals you do, like the lighting, the candle, and like, everything like that, um, that's kind of like what this is, so, but anyway, to the Wiccans who know what I'm talking about, um, I wanted to use something natural, but I couldn't really think of anything that I could make myself for a wand or, um, something I could center my energy with. <coughs> so I have this driftwood, and I know it's really big, like, really big, but it actually worked really, really, it works really good. So, I use that, um... The Wheel of Fortune, or the Wheel of the Year, I have on here, tarot card. I usually keep it on there when I'm doing a ritual or something for, like, a certain day. Oh, look at my shadow. 
Um, and then I made some herb. I mixed some herbs together. Uh, it's chamomile, lavender, and jasmine in this. So that's what that is. And um, then I have my heart goddess, my little thing that I use for my goddess. And um, my amethyst, of course, I keep that there. Plus, um, you know, it's it's the crystal I'm most, like, in tune with. And it's my favorite one because it's, like, it's just so freaking pretty, I think. <coughs> um, anyway, so this is my Valentine's Day altar that I wanted to show you. I think the flowers made it so freaking amazing. Also, for my birthday, I got this book that I've wanted for a really long time. Um, my mom didn't want to get it to me when I lived with her, and I asked my dad for it, and of course I know that he doesn't really understand my religion path, but he supports it, and, um, I started reading the, um, story of creation, the creationism story that Wiccans believe. <coughs> it's nice and long, and... It's actually really good. I, I had, like, some of my own, like, beliefs with it, but this is actually, like, it's, like, a really beautiful story. I'm gonna have to share it with you. Um, that's The Ultimate Book of Shadows for the New Generation Solitary Witch by Silver Ravenwolf. Um, great book. So far. Um, oh, also, I wanted to tell you about, uh, for my 18th birthday, I got... A, sorry, I, I look like crap, so I don't really don't want to show you how I look. But, um, for my 18th birthday, I got a tattoo. And, um, let me just show it to you. So, my very first tattoo, it's pretty big. It's, like, the size of the palm of my hand. Like, if you cut my fingers off actually bigger than that, honestly, but, um, that's my tattoo, uh, I wanted something that meant a lot to me, and the reason I got it here, it's like on my thigh, on my hip, was, um, <coughs> sorry, I always get winded when I talk, I don't know why, my, it's, it's really bad right now because I'm sick, but <sighs> I think I get really excited when I'm talking about my tattoo and religion and everything, and I get so excited I forget to breathe or something, but, um, um, I definitely wanted a sun and moon for, you know, um, the god and goddess, and a lot of the tattoos I saw online were the sun had, like, the female face and the moon had the male face which I really didn't want since I consider the sun more of the masculine figure and the moon like the triple moon goddess and stuff so I really wanted the moon to be more like a female and so that's what I got it's more womanly and it's more manly um but I got it in that spot because um there was a very traumatic moment in my life, May 2010, and it was a situation that caused a lot of problems in my life and a lot of um, physical and mental stress on my part, and um, def a definitely a, a huge regret, probably one of my only regrets in my life, and... Um, it's been almost a year, and uh, from that night uh, that my regret took place, um, I had a scar there, and every time I looked at the mark on my leg, the scar, I would think of that night, and it would actually, it made me feel really sad, and even though I told myself different things about it, um, just having that mark there just reminded me of my mistake and so getting god and goddess 
Simon Moon tattoo right over my scar is sort of like a reminder that no matter what mistakes I may make in my life and no matter what problems I'm going to face, I still have the God and Goddess, the Lord and Lady, the Sun and the Moon. The Sun and Moon are going to be in my life for the rest of my life. My religion's going to be my religion for the rest of my life. And it's just kind of like a reminder that no matter what problems I may have, that they're going to help me through everything. And I put it right over it, so instead of looking at the scar, I'm remembering that horrible night. I'm, I can look at my tattoo over the scar and remember the positive instead. <coughs> so... That's the story of my tattoo. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, the tattoo definitely hurt. <laughs> um, but my dad was there and he helped me. He has 16 tattoos. So he was like uh, helping me through it. My boyfriend came with me and held my hand. Um, basically the outline felt... It hurt. It felt like I had a sunburn and someone was digging their nail into a sunburn on my skin. And, um, the coloring in just felt like freaking bee stings. I hated that. And if I knew that the coloring in felt like that, I would have gladly taken the pain of the outline instead of being a wuss during that. Because once I felt the coloring part, I'm just like, oh my god, when is this going to be over? But, um, it was definitely worth the pain, and I'm really happy I got it, and I just wanted to share with you guys my tattoo I got on Saturday. It's Monday today, February 14th, my birthday, I'm 18, and, um, my Valentine's Day altar. So, I hope you all enjoyed this 12 minute and 15 second long, ooh, long video, and it's almost 11 at night, so I gotta go to sleep, but, um, hope y'all had a great Valentine's Day, and if you're not into Valentine's Day, if you're, like, you know, single and you hate Valentine's Day, I hope y'all had a wonderful February 14th with the people that bring positive energy into your life. And, uh, maybe had an anti- I know a lot of people hate Valentine's Day, but I kind of got to like it since I was born. I was born on, like, the most hated holiday. <sighs> Feels good. Um, but no, um. Hope you all have a great week, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I'll talk to you all later. Um, nobody really commented my spell dolls, um things so but that's okay because you guys learned how to make them and uh anyway I'll talk to you all later I think my video can only be up to 15 minutes so I'm gonna turn this off now and I hope you all have a great week um blessed be love and light and enjoy YouTube <laughs> I guess whatever uh, I'll talk to you guys later What's it be?